Step one. <clears throat> the O8, the, the oxygen on the alcohol. CH3, C, CH3, CH3, OH. You have two lone pairs on the oxygen. And of course, HCl is a strong acid. One of the two lone pairs on the oxygen grabs the hydrogen on HCl. And that, that their bond goes to the Cl as a fourth lone pair. This is what you have as your intermediate. CH3, C, CH3, CH3, O. Now you have two H's attached to that oxygen. And you still have a lone pair. And you now have a positive charge on the, on the oxygen. Also, you produce the chloride anion. Cl, four lone pairs, negative charge. Step two. So this is what happens in SN1. The intermediate, the CH3, C, CH3, CH3, O, H, H, lone pair, positive charge. Oxygen is second most electronegative element. It does not like to be positively charged. So what happens is that their bond goes to the oxygen as a second lone pair. H2O leaves the molecule and you have the CH3, C, CH3. CH3, now you have a positive charge there. You produce H2O in the process. And of course, in step one, we produce the Cl minus, and the Cl minus is what neutralizes the positive charge on the carbon. And this now is the slow step. Note, notice that the slow step involves just one thing on the one thing the reagent is only one and in step three what happens is the positively charged carbon is attacked by the negatively charged chloride. So one of the four lone pairs on the Cl attacks the carbon that has the positive charge and now the Cl is part of the structure and we have formed our organic chloride. Cl, we have three lone pairs on the oxygen.